Hey everyone, Colby Cox with Global America Financial here. And today we're going to be talking about National Life Group and their living benefits on their life insurance policies. Now, if you don't know what a living benefit is, then you need to click this link up here and it will take you to a video on what they are, how they work, and why you should have a policy that has them. If you have done that, let's get started. So National Life has some of the most robust living benefits on the market today. They have four of them. They have terminal illness, chronic illness, critical illness, and critical injury. So a terminal illness is when you've been diagnosed with a terminal illness that results in death within 24 months or less of certification of illness by a physician. So two years or less that you have to live. Now, how do you receive that benefit? It's going to be a lump sum. They're going to give you the money. You can do what you want with it, Okay. There is no waiting period. So if you get this policy today, tomorrow, you get a terminal illness, you'll have that benefit there. But there is a lifetime limit on the amount of benefits you can receive across all accelerated benefit riders. All right. Now, you can get the full amount. And because it's a living benefit, you won't get the full death benefit, but you'll get a portion of it. So you can take the full amount and do what you want with it. You could take a portion of the amount they'd give you. And then leave the rest, if you were to pass away, that would go to your family. Or you could just leave it all intact and not touch any of it. So let's look at some an example. Our example here, 35-year-old male, million dollar death benefit, paying 10 grand a month. Or, excuse me, 10 grand a year for this policy. Okay, so terminal illness, you get it right away. So let's say this client were to get a terminal illness at age 65. Well, at 65, they would get 800 $71,798 upfront, tax-free, here you go. Now, if you take the full amount, the policy lapses. You don't have a policy, but you've got the $800,000, and you can do what you want with it. You can use it to pay your medical bills. You can use it to pay off debt. You can use it to take a trip of your, of a, your lifetime. You can use it for whatever you want. Now, let's say you don't want or you don't need 800000 so you tell them, look, just give me four hundred and leave the rest there. You can do that, and if you were to pass away, your family would get what's left. If you take the full amount, again, the policy will lapse. Or you could just, again, leave it right there. Now, the second one is a chronic illness. And a chronic illness is when a doctor has certified within the past 12 months that you are unable to perform two out of the six acti activities of daily living for a period of at least 90 consecutive days without assistance or that you are cognitively impaired. So what are the activities of daily living? They are bathing, consonants, dressing, eating, toileting, and transferring. If you can't do two of those six you qualify for chronic illness. Now, how do you get it? Generally, the rider needs to be enforced for a period of at least 30 days. So about a month after you've gotten the policy, this rider kicks in. Okay, again, there is an annual limit on the amount of benefits you receive, and there's also a lifetime limit on all accelerated benefit riders. Okay, note that you do not have to be licensed. It doesn't have to be a licensed facility to receive that payment. And you can apply for the benefits every 12 months. So you may use some of it now, and then three years later, you need some of it again. It can be used for any reason with one state exemption and do not need to be used for medical expenses. Okay, so again, you can take some of it or you can leave it there. Let's take another look at an example. Same client with chronic illness. Now, what National Life Group does is they pay out a monthly benefit for 50 months. Okay, so depending on age, depending on severity, depending on death benefit, will determine how much you get. So for example, if this client was 50 and had a chronic illness, National Life would give them 900, I'm sorry, $9,989 every month for 50 months. But at 60, 13,796. At 65, 15, 927. And at 70, 19,078. Now, how does it work again? You're going to get, let's say at age 50, the roughly the 10 grand every month. And after 10 months, knock on wood, let's say you pass away, your family would get what is left. Okay. But if you use all 50 months, the policy lapses, you use the full allotted benefit that they would give you. Now, again, you don't have to take the full amount. You could take half of it. I'll let me just give me my roughly five grand. And that five grand would last longer than that 50 months because you're not taking the full allotment. Okay. So again, complete control on how you want to use it when you, and, uh, and when you want to use it for what reason, okay? Now, the third living benefit 
is a critical illness, and the fourth one's critical injury, but we're going to talk about them together because they work the same way. Okay, so what is a critical illness? There are 13 qualifying events. They are ALS, which is Lou Gehrig's disease, aortograph surgery, aplastic anemia, blindness, blindness, cancer, cystic fibrosis, end-stage renal failure, heart attack, heart valve replacement, major organ transplant, motor neuron disease, stroke, and sudden cardiac arrest. And then critical injury is coma, paralysis, severe burns, and traumatic brain injury. Okay, so how do I get my benefit? Okay. Again, you're going to get a discounted benefit. It's going to be a lump sum, but it's divided into four categories. It's minor, moderate, severe, or life-threatening. The highest payout will be a life-threatening category. The smallest will be minor. Okay? And again, generally, this rider does need to be enforced for 30 days, just like the chronic illness rider. And any claim for benefits for a given qualifying event must be filed within 365 days following the occurrence of such qualifying event. So two years ago, you had a qualifying event doesn't mean you'll be able to get benefits now. Again, how does it work? You can get the full amount on a discounted basis as a lump sum. You can leave a portion of it and have the rest of it for your family, or you can just leave it there entirely. Let's take a look. So again, critical illness, critical injury, four categories, minor, moderate, severe, and life-threatening. Again, depending on age and severity will determine how much you get. So if your client's, this client's 50 and it's minor, they'll get $277,211, okay? But if they're 50 and it's severe, they'll get $586,220. And if light threatening, $818,000, $818,000, $818,000. 933 dollars okay so again you can see here depending on age and depending on severity will determine how much you get with minor moderate and severe you can get this money and then the rest will be there for your family but with life-threatening more than likely this is going to be the most that they can give you and then that policy will lapse so again depending on severity depending on age will determine how much you get the younger you are the less severe the less money you get the older you are the more severe the more money you get and that's National Life Group's Living Benefits. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Send us a message. Put it in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to check out more videos that are starting to come out soon. And you all have a great day.